Um, let's let's uh, get to our last subject of the day, and uh, it's going to be interesting because I mean, we just had trade season. It was exciting. It was fun. Uh, Kent Hughes did not disappoint. So um, who should the Habs trade this summer? Who do you see as maybe being the next pieces to go? Uh, I know it's early, but we want to know from you fans also. We want you guys to chime in on this in the comments, so please do. Mm -hmm. And if you're liking this show, hit the thumbs up. Give us a like, please. We'd appreciate that. And um, subscribe. And subscribe if you want to see more, of course. But um, who do you guys who do you guys see as being pieces that could potentially be moved based on contract status, based on where this team is growing? They're getting younger. They want to get faster. Who do you see going this summer? Um, if you would have asked me a couple of weeks ago, my main one would have been Armia because let's all be honest, Armia signs his new contract and has not been performing to what we know he can. It's It's been disappointing to watch, but in the last four to five games, he's turned it around. He's, you can see him on the ice. He's getting shots on net. He's hitting, he's using his body, he's scoring, he's passing. He is playing like Yoel Armia is supposed to play. So mm -hmm. We already know that he's very streaky. So if this happens for a few games, he disappears for 29 games. So he's still a bit on my list of players that could be moved, depending if the price is right, like Kent always says. Mm -hmm. um, if he keeps playing like he's playing right now, I wouldn't move him because he's a perfect maybe third or fourth liner. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, Shane, I know you're going to touch on this quickly, but... For us, it was Mike Hoffman and Jeff Petrie. We know that yeah. Jeff Petrie's not happy in Montreal. He did ask to be traded, and Kent said, if the price is right, we will move him. The organization is not in a bad spot with Jeff Petrie right now, but whatever happened with his family, he wants to be back home, and right now being out for an unknown amount of time, it is going to impact. Is he just going to go back to Michigan and stay there? For me, that's what I'm thinking. I think he played his last game in Montreal, but... Remains to be seen. As for Mike Hoffman, uh, he's having a tough time lately. I don't know what's going on. I mean, don't count yesterday's shootout goal and the two posts. But I really don't know what to do with Mike Hoffman because he's either 100% all in or he's – I don't even know what he's doing. Yeah. It's it's a tough call. You know, we, we've traded most of the pieces that needed to be traded. Yeah. Right, uh, Ben Sherratt needed to be traded. Kent actually said that, which is crazy because we're not used to it. But, uh, you know, we're looking at the guys who are, you know, out of a contract. Tyler Pitlick, who we've only seen play what, a game and a half, not even a game in a period. So we don't know what's going to happen with him. Uh, Mathieu Perrault was uh, put in on waivers. He passed. So does the team want him? That remains to be seen. Laurent Dauphin is without a contract. And he's proved himself, so he could actually get some money elsewhere if we don't give it to him. Um, Chris Weidman is also out of a contract. Could he find somewhere else? Could we find a way to trade him? It, it, there's a lot of pieces that could be moved, but no one that really stands out except for Jeff Petrie. I mean, Kent has said it multiple times, which is, again, weird to hear, but we do appreciate the communication. Jeff will be moved like that. He wants somewhere in the States uh, with his family, the, a deal that works for both teams and plenty of teams would use a guy like Jeff Petrie. He is a steady second option. Um, we've seen him behind Weber for years and he performed well in that situation. So I would not be surprised if a team paid for paid to get Jeff Petrie this summer. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about inevitable at this point that Petrie is going to be moved as long as the right pieces can come back. That's, it. that's what it sounds like is going to happen. And that's a lot of cap uh, off, off the books for Montreal, oh, yeah. right? I mean, that's going to be 6.25 million off the cap for the next three seasons if they are able to pull it off. And it sounds like, it sounds like Ken Hughes is going to do everything in his power to do that. So don't Michael, keep in mind too. Sorry. Keep in mind that yeah. if, um, Kent is able to trade Weber's contract, or if Weber retires, we have that cap coming off too. Yeah, that was crossing you know? my mind as you were as a. That's going to be yeah. a key part of what we're going to do this summer. Like, we've talked about this on the show before. Can we attract stars to come to Montreal now that we have key pieces that are coming up with Martin Saint Louis and all the changes in the organization? Yeah, you know, it's it's giving us space to to sign someone who wants to come to Montreal, and I think that's going to be something we need to keep an eye on. I think it is. And also, uh, again, like, I mean, I'm not rushing 
anybody out the door, but we want to know what's happening with Carrie's contract too. And I think we'll get to that at some point, but we're not going to go there right now. I know. Don't, don't worry. Um, but, but for me, yeah, for me, I'm just thinking about players that are going to be part of this long-term restructuring, whatever you want to call it for this team. And uh, I don't know that I see army as part of it, but I, I don't know who you can place him with right now. I don't know if Yelonen's ready to take the jump. I mean, army is pretty established in his game right now and if he is playing yeah. better then i'm all for keeping him we have him for another three seasons as well paul byron has two years left on his deal uh which i thought was interesting well, actually one year after this year so yeah. and then like i'm even i'm even looking at next trade deadline like you know paul byron is going to be up jonathan druin is going to be up so like there's just there's a lot of question marks i think christian dvorak is part of the solution going forward personally i've been very happy with his game lately oh, yeah. Uh, that yeah. tying goal, uh, that pass to Rem Pitlick last night Ooh. was a thing of beauty. But also on the faceoffs, like face Dvorak off. is money in the faceoffs right now for me. Yeah, eighty percent um, yesterday. Yeah, so I think kind of uh, like a Manny Manholtra on the <laughs> Manny, faceoff. <laughs> Manny, yeah, but like uh, more absolutely. talented, you know, just more skill. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm looking at guys like our like our, the people that come to mind. I think they're are going to move are definitely Petrie. I'm I'm questioning Armia. Um, I think we know guys that are going to be without a contract, like Matthew Perot, for example, uh, players like him. But when it comes down to it, I, I'm qu I'm questioning what you know. Hoffman is definitely on that list. So to me, it's Hoffman, Armia, Petrie. Um, those are those are my biggest question marks right there. Or, or definitely, we know at least two or three of those are, those guys are going to go because Mike Hoffman is kind of one one dimensional. So that's where for me. I've kind of seen enough, and I, I just I know that Mark Bergevin signed Mike Hoffman out of necessity. We needed scoring, and uh, we didn't even have access to him at the beginning of the season when things were really rough. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's been fine overall. Point production's there. You know, he's doing what he does, but but he the can puck, be replaced without the puck. I just I can't. I, I think I want to see more, and uh, I think there's other guys that will give us more.